Hey everybody, it's Barack Obama. A senator recently suggested that Ken Burns documentaries teach history better than teachers. Well, if that's the case, welcome to European Conquests 101 with Professor Obama. Featuring For Honor. Now take your seat or I'll send you to the principal's office. And now today's lesson is about the Vikings, Europe's original badasses. In fact, there's evidence that the Vikings set foot in North America centuries before the Spaniards did. If you have any friends of Spanish descent, you know that sometimes they're late. Like a lot of the time. Now you might notice that this Viking doesn't wear much armor. He's also not wearing any jewelry. In particular, rings. You know, like a Super Bowl ring. Vikings just don't have any. When Vikings came up against other Vikings in battle, the result was often a traumatic death for one of the Vikings, as you can see here. I mean, what a brutal execution. The last time I saw anyone get hit like that, it was Bernie Sanders by the DNC. But that was the way of the Viking. A death in battle meant a trip to Valhalla. Unless you pooped in your pants, in which case you didn't get to go to Valhalla. You went somewhere else. I'm guessing Cleveland, perhaps. Oh my god, did you see that? That Viking just wiped out like five dudes all at once. Much like Donald Trump did in the Republican primaries. Although Vikings have much better hair. A lot of people don't know this, but male Vikings actually produce milk. They lactate. And one of the reasons they didn't wear heavy armor was so that they could nurse babies after the battle. I mean, they'd go into a village and they'd murder everyone, except the babies. Because, I mean, they're not evil, they're just Vikings. So Vikings evolved the ability to suckle a baby from their own teeth. Amazing. See, these two fellas are knights. They're from England. They're much smaller than a Viking, probably smell a little bit better, and they're using swords which are kind of like cocktail toothpicks to a Viking. A Viking versus a knight almost inevitably ends with the Viking killing the knight. There are few things as tough as a Viking in a one-on-one -on -one fight. A Viking in a two-on-one -on -one fight is fierce, but also not invincible. When Vikings are outnumbered, they tend to bleed heavily. Now this here is my Viking, his name is Harold. Harold Lika which unfortunately translates to Harold the Corpse. Throughout the course of human history, there is no record of samurais ever fighting Vikings. Let's take a look and see how that play out. Oh shit, you know what, maybe samurais are tougher than Vikings. This poor Viking Harold, he's just not doing so great. Jeez, Harold's so slow, I, I think he spent the last four hours in an old country buffet. They'd probably let a Viking into the OCB. Sure, he smells like ass, but have you been to an old country buffet? I'm not saying everybody who eats at an OCB smells like a hobo's nutsack. I'm saying people who smell like a hobo's nutsack really love the old country buffet. All right, Harold's got himself a rematch with the samurai. Let's see how this plays out. Come on, Harold. Come on, Harold. You got this, buddy. What are you doing, Harold? So in conclusion, the reason the Vikings didn't complete their conquest of North America coast to coast, Samurais came in on the Bering Strait land bridge and, and they kicked the Vikings up the ass. That, that had to have been it. I'm going to get my best scientists uh, to prove that. There will be one more feather in my cap before I leave the presidency. Professor Obama, over and out. Hey, and if you like this video, subscribe to the Game Society Pimps for more comedy gaming and other bullshit. And go to jasonsvoices.com to hear 100 celebrity impersonations.